Hey, what's going on, guys? So I got this new uh, Tello Rise drone um, that I just wanted. To, I did some cool stuff with it, so I just wanted to share. It's um, I, this is like a cool project for getting into programming and whatnot. So, anyways, we're just gonna kick it off here, um, and we get we'll see how you guys what you guys think. So here goes the drone. Um, essentially, what it's gonna perform for us. Well, you know, I don't want to spoil it, but we can just watch it. Essentially, what we have is there's a standard developer kit that uh, essentially has a Python wrapper. And we're using that Python wrapper to go ahead and execute commands. And right now it didn't do the commands I wanted it to do. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I have no clue what's going on right now. It seems to be repeatedly executing takeoff. Okay. <laughs> that was not supposed to happen. <laughs> I have no clue why wow, that actually happened. Um, it's not really doing its flip show. Oh, that's why. Alright, so we're gonna land this baby right here. Um, there she goes. Watch that. Okay, we're gonna try again. Alright, so, um, it's supposed to perform a flip show, which it didn't do. But, we're gonna try again. And hopefully not hit the ceiling. So let's move her over. And, here we go. So yeah, um, Back, I forget what I was talking about. So I'm gonna go, but I think, oh yeah. So Python, uh, Tello, Trello, Tello SDK uh, basically has a Python wrapper, which basically means that's kind of cool. <laughs> it's gonna do some square flips for us here. But um, essentially, what you do is you write, you write, um, you yeah, you write Python code that essentially interfaces with the SDK, and then it, we have a very easy to use, like you can see, literally like wicked, wicked nice. So, anyways, um, it's pretty dope. And I wanted to talk about some use cases for drones too. So I, I actually just wrote down a couple that I thought might be interesting to y'all. So um, essentially, we could um, imagine a drone painting the walls. Imagine like um, imagine a drone painting painting the walls on the interior of a house. Um, imagine a drone washing the windows on the exterior of a house. These are things that people pay a lot of money uh, for right now that could be potentially automated with drones with good stability and a few add-ons. Um, so another couple things are like um, if you had a drone VR tour so imagine if you had some out, outposts in like remote areas say like in the Amazon or I don't know in like uh, at near like Mount Everest or something like that or I don't think there's very good I don't know if there's a good Wi-Fi connection there probably not but um you know in just remote cool areas and you could essentially uh, have these drones fly you could have a set of drones and you could essentially have people put down a lump sum of insurance in case they crash the drone then you could allow then you they have a VR headset they strap it on and they can just pilot the drone remotely and like tour these cool remote destinations from anywhere in the world um, other things you could do is you could do, they've got, they already do this, but like, um, there's action photography, so if like snowboarding or skiing, they have the drone follow it, follow them, tra uh, like subject tracking, and basically, um, take video, nice, good, high definition video of that, and then, like, obviously not advocating this, but if you wanted to, you could have a swarm of drones with, like, spray paint, and you could go and draw cool pictures in places with, the drone swarm and the stray paint and whatnot. So, um, all kind of cool things, all kind of neat use cases. If you also, if you're new to programming, this is, this is awesome. Like this, <laughs> this would have got me into Python like way sooner if I'd seen something like this. So anyways, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Um, I hope you guys think of your own drone use cases. Like any of those things I listed could be easily multi, multi tens of millions of dollars startups. Um, they're, uh, you know, Oh, another another cool one I, that I forgot to, that's actually my favorite one, is the idea of a drone um, essentially like har uh, harvesting and planting the uh, next year's, or uh, the ag agricultural yield essentially. So just like uh, if you want to harvest, like say you have a bunch of uh, fruit trees or whatnot and you want to harvest all the fruit trees, um, you could go ahead and you could do that. Or you could uh, say if you have a bunch of... Um, uh, or say you need to like plant a field, you could have a drone that just goes like uh, increment, like okay, go up, go forward, go down, um, identify location, um, have a little uh, module on the bottom that essentially pushes the seed into the ground, and then you could just have it iteratively plant seeds for next year's yield as well. So all kind of cool things. I think the automating agriculture one is a, is the coolest and like has the potential because I think I think we could potentially have fully automated farms like down the line, which would be just that would end world hunger essentially, especially if you had it like operated by drones and, and renewable energy sources. So, um, 
that'd be cool. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. I'm going to be doing some other videos with uh, drones, and I'm got I haven't ordered them yet, but I'm going to pick up a couple of um, other drones, and we're going to we're going to make a little drone army, and we're going to uh, we're going to see what we can do with it. it should be pretty cool. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, um, thanks for watching. Um, love you, and have a good day.